We are not in this just for our personal uh, glory that, you know, uh, this and that. No. We are in this for the people. And if the people are not happy, it doesn't matter what you think. You fail. It is simple as that. Unfortunately, I speak up. The people, we are not happy. So why don't we sit down and think about it together without, uh, you know, taking it personally. You know, can you imagine? I felt sorry for Patson Dago when I saw his picture yesterday at the end of the game. I felt sorry for fashion. I felt sorry for Mwape, wherever he was, if he wasn't there. I felt sorry for all our players, all the football fans all over the world when our players uh, were coming out of the ground 3-1. Because it's humiliating to them. They are playing so well. They are heroes where they are. And they come to play for their country. We can't even ask ourselves, what should we do better? If you ask that question, no, 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 you're against me. I can't be. Nobody's against anybody here. We're all brothers and sisters. We're all Zambians. We all want what is the best for us. And in this business of politicizing everything, so we go to the ground, it is uh, which political party this one belongs to. We so, no. We are, and I'm not saying it now. I'm saying it even then, before now. Even before, just before now, the previous government. Even though the, the ground was the place where Zambian was proud to show his flag. Not the place where Zambian is proud to show which political party he belongs to. I think that too has to be correct. It must be the place where we go, we, we can embrace each other. Even our team will feel it and win. But now they can't feel it and win. When they know that everybody is going there, hey, this one belongs to this camp, he wants that one to be the, the leaders, he wants that. Not interested in that anymore. Yeah. Because it's of no benefit to us. If we had won yesterday, people would have forgotten all this. But we can't forget until we correct this. That's why I accepted when you called me. I said, I'm going to go and have this interview. I'm going to speak like I speak. I, and I called Dixon and said, please, Dixon, come and help me. Remind me how we did it. Yes. And you can check all this. These people are still alive. Can you imagine we are suffering like this? Mr. Tin is still there. I know he's old. I know he may not be so, But we, generally, we can send people to go and help him. You remember to give us his the AFCON in Angola? Yes. We had to call him and yes. they had lunch with us yes. and saying, I'm here, but this is your team and so on. Yes, yes. Yeah. All of us. I worked under him. He was the president of the Football Association of Zambia for a long time. I was the first vice president by election. And uh, Mr. Sagara was the second vice president. But we used all the time. When we come back, we call everyone. Where did we go wrong? Why did we make it? Or so, But you know, we, know, we can't do it. You're afraid to speak that you're going to be attacked. So uh, this thing, uh, which we use, what do you call it? The, 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 where to, to, they'll be commenting after this. Social well, the social media. Social media. <laughs> it is supposed to be a weapon to be of success. Yes. The people we invented this in America. I was ambassador then when Al Gore announced the coming of this thing. Mm. It is supposed to be a weapon to unite us. It's supposed to be a weapon to help us find solution 